Welcome Dome, everybody. How we doing? Oh man, so excited to see you all. It's been three years since we've done this. You know we're about to do it right. These tall ass motherfuckers know what I'm talking about. Let's go. Man, it's been crazy and we're just so excited to be here at our new Dome Suite Dome. What do you think? I don't know, if you ask me, it's been, it's just been way too long.
this amazing journey we've been on. We're actually coming up on our 15 year anniversary, if you believe it. Coming up. We just put out a brand new album called Perspective. Maybe for that reason, maybe not. Lots to look back on. And we thought with our favorite people here, the cream of the flock, that we would maybe share a little story or a few stories about the history of the band and our musical journey from the very beginnings to this. Long time ago, me and my brother Kyle here, we was hitchhiking, wait, 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 that's not our story, that's not our story. Got confused. Long time ago, me and my brother Jeremy here, we didn't know each other when we went to college at University of Maryland, but on that very first day of school, I sauntered down my freshman dormitory hall with guitar in hand, just looking to make some friends, have some fun. You know how we do. Went into one room, jammed with a buddy. It was fun, but like Goldilocks, it wasn't just right. Then I heard some funky stuff happening in the room across the hall. And who was in there? That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy Schoen. And it was love at first jam. We started writing silly little dorm songs in between class after class, maybe during class, I don't know. He started just playing these cool things and I just started playing guitar. I didn't really have much to add to the equation, so I gave him a little. Yeah, just a little. That's all you need. For all you aspiring musicians out there, all you need are two notes and a smile. It's worked out for me, at least. We started writing and writing, having fun. I even started writing songs, which was new for me. And I wrote a little one that goes, Penguins fall into the water. i 
Yeah, we started jamming a whole lot more in that dorm room. Graduated to a basement. We decided I think we should add some more to the mix. Jeremy met this guy in a class, a hell of a drummer named Dan Schwartz. And they started looking for a drum set that we all could play on, kick these dorm jams into the next gear. Our buddy had a house with a drum set in it. The three of us went over and started fooling around. And that same buddy had a roommate who just sauntered downstairs, picked up his bass, and without saying a word, completed the band. Makes a noise for Ben on bass. As casual as can be. In fact, once we had our funky foursome, we started writing a lot of songs. And we said, you know what? I think we have enough for a full length album. Or maybe it would be an EP. We're not really sure. You know what? So let's call it Funk EP. But let's put a space between E and P because in fact, it is officially a full length album. It's long enough for that. And we're funky pigeons. That won't be confusing. 15 years later, it's still pretty confusing. But yes, Funky P, that first album is a full album. And not only are we funky pigeons, but there was a song on there that the title alluded to. And we recorded that first album at University of Maryland, WMUC radio station, mostly in one long, strange night.
So we started playing some really weird shows in those early years. Weird bars, weird basements, pizza places, synagogues, <laughs> wherever you'd have us, there we were. Jeremy would call in when he used to book the band. He'd say, hey, I'm with Pigeons playing ping pong. We'd like to come to your, your establishment. And they'd be like, um, hold on, let me connect you with our special events. I don't think we can have birds in here, but I'll have to ask. No, 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 we're a band. We're not, you know, there won't be poop on the floor if all goes well. It's a bit of a challenge, a little bit of a hurdle we had to get over in the early years. We were playing around College Park, Maryland, where we were kind of hatched, so to speak. And our friend Igor booked us at this strange spot that we had never really been to called EJ's Landing. Put your hands behind your back and your face down on the floor. Pull yourself this 
Bringing back all the memories for us, man. And uh, time's rolling along here in our story. Most of us were getting ready to graduate. We didn't all make it through the finish line, but did, didn't need that after all, did we? Stay in school, kids. Um, we had this crazy idea, or I shouldn't say we had this crazy idea. Our friend Jeremy here, our senior year of college, found this beautiful piece of property called the Domes of Beltsville. There were these beautiful dome-shaped houses on the property. The owner was so cool, we clicked with him right away. And he and his buddy had a crazy idea. What if we all came here for one day and one night, just brought some music and had the party of our lives? And you know what, with all these crazy looking houses, why not call this Dome Fest? And man oh man was Dome Fest one of the best nights of all of our lives. Believe it or not, it was the first festival I ever attended, thrown by my friend Jeremy here. Here in, I'll call it the 11th year as time's been weird lately, it's just grown to be this thing we never thought possible. But the one thing that has stayed consistent throughout the years is all of you, our dome people. So this is for you. Thank you. 
Yes, they were working hard. These are the times I can't live without, you see. Yes, they are working hard. A dino looks at top of epic crowd, smiling to his toes as he is working hard. Yes, he is working hard. Ben on the bass. You know, there was a very brief time, feels like so long ago, where Ben wasn't holding down the low end. We had our buddy Wyatt fill in, just for a few months. Friend of Jeremy's forever, used to play in bands in high school. In fact, Wyatt's dad still cuts Jeremy's hair at a beautiful place called Goldilocks. That's Wyatt Gold. But Wyatt told us, you know what, this was fun, but I'm going to pharmacy school. 
And we were like, dude, that's amazing. We're happy for you. So it turned out that Wyatt was on the move, but we knew it was for a good cause.
even British air. You're talking a lot, but you're not saying anything. When I'm not gonna say, 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 who oh, my lips are sealed.
with your boy, your boy. off an album we made called Psychology. Album number two. At this point, we're beyond the University of Maryland. We move out to Baltimore for, for real in Federal Hill, right by one of our favorite clubs ever called the 8x10, where we frequented, I have no idea how many times, on stage and off. Started going to festivals. After Dome Fest, I caught the bug. I went to this big ass festival called All Good in 2010. That, along with Dome Fest, changed my life for good. We just dove in head first after that, going to festivals, playing festivals. And while we were living in those crazy times, we wrote another song on psychology you may have heard before.
losing my mind, y'all. We'll be back in 30 minutes. Keep traveling through time. We got Disco up next, baby.
How's it going, Dome Fest? Oh, yeah, baby. We're feeling the love. This is so amazing. What a beautiful day. We're gonna, I think we're in for a hell of a weekend. Our story continues as we start recording at this amazing place in Baltimore called Rightway Studios. Starting with our album, Pleasure. Quick question, do you guys like Pleasure? Yeah, me too, me too. In fact, we kept recording at Rightway Studio. We found our little studio home for the last four albums, including Perspective, we just dropped. Let's quit burning up this time.
10 years ago, maybe nine, we found ourselves at a bar in, I don't know, West Virginia, Virginia, somewhere, somewhere along the long and curvy road. We got to this feel on stage. It felt really nice. It felt so nice that I just started singing. I'm not sure about what, but a song started forming right before us with the crowd, the lights. Ten years later, we finally recorded it all together. Looking back on it, I don't know, man. It's pretty crazy how it all unfolded. In fact, it was just surreal.
gonna feel real good. These birds are ready to fly. Taking our biggest trip ever. One that we look back on and think, man, that was huge. What a great time that was. Our first trip out to Colorado. If you've never been, I highly recommend it. Just a good vibe, man. In fact, if you're not doing anything next week, you can see us at Red Rocks. Name drop. But not only were the people amazing and all the shows so fun, but we made so many friends. Friends we still are friends with to this day. People we just love to see, love to hang with, and love to play with. Make some noise for a longtime Domi, our boy, Casey from the Magic Beans.
tomorrow with the Magic Beans. Long time buddies. Long time Domi's in the house. So we had this original drummer, Dan. We loved him and you know, he decided you know, it was time to get out of the van. And I can tell you, I, I get it. The van life is tough and we were so happy for him. We love him still. In fact, he was the officiant at my wedding. But we needed a replacement. And uh, years ago with Dan, we opened for this great band called Lifted in Connecticut. And we always remembered that drummer was pretty sick. As time went on, they had to change their name to Pure Motion for legal reasons. And in fact, Pure Motion is playing tomorrow at the campground stage at noon. And you know who that drummer in that band is? Make some noise for Gator! Gator joined, and boy, nothing was ever the same after that. We merged into one being, or whatever you want to say. Got back in the studio for Pizzazz, the first one with Gator on it. Because we just felt after some shows under our belt, it was time to unleash the Gator.
One time on our many road trips, we were pulling out of the, the driveway and we saw a toad just hopping along. We're like, oh, that's funny. Kept driving along and bam, right across the car safely was a fox. We're like, man, this has been eventful. We barely left Baltimore. And as we get on the highway, we just, there's so many traffic cones we have to like go around. We're like, man, we start singing about this. We're like, man, this is just crazy. And those van times, it's like cabin fever in the best ways. You start losing your mind. You're singing weird stuff all the time. Next thing you know, we're like in this heavenly, blissful place of singing, and we look in the rearview mirror, and I don't know if we veered wrong for the traffic cone, but there were some red and blue lights flashing behind us. Yeah, just like that. Huh. We were getting pulled over on the side of the road. We just kept on singing. We added it to our song. And the rest is history.
road in the traffic cone. So we don't hold it against him, but Gator's from New England, if you can't tell from his jersey. Go C's, right Gator? And uh, one of his favorite football players is this nut job who used to play on the Patriots named Rob Gronkowski. He's a wacky man. If you know him, tell him to come say hey. And one night, the NFL had a game in Mexico and there was a reporter there who was asking him questions first in Spanish and then in English and towards the end of the interview the reporter first asked in Spanish and then quickly in English Rob you won the game how are you gonna celebrate tonight or are you, are you gonna go out have some drinks I heard the word tequila in there Rob laughs looks around and says yo soy fiesta <laughs>
Ocean. So that was off Presto, which brings us to our new album, Perspective. Hope you've been enjoying it. We think of you while we're in there. That is the God honest truth. And this next song, we were thinking especially of all of you. We've seen your groove to it. And it's so important, really. I mean, you got to drink water. You know what I'm saying? Make some noise for our buddy Austin Litz from Litz. We've shared a few waters together, that's for damn sure. Austin's playing late night tonight, but he couldn't pass up another opportunity to jam. We've been jamming for so long, man. Austin used to throw epic parties down in Salisbury, Maryland, man. Oh my God. Should've drank some more water in those, you know? But hey, I hope you're all drinking water because we have a beautiful weekend. Getting hot. Arrivederci.
time, buddy. <laughs> this man loves playing music for you. And Litz is playing late night tonight after Sun Squabby throws it down. In fact, if I had to guess knowing Austin, I don't think he's leaving this whole damn weekend. But hey, now that perspective is out and we're back on tour, it's been so amazing. We've been writing tons of new music for you. Unreleased stuff. Bring it to the now, am I right? Maybe dip our toes in the future a little bit? Thing is, Dome Fest means a lot to us. It's our favorite weekend of the year. And it's become a bit of a tradition, really to play some brand new, unheard stuff for you. Is it okay if we play a new song for you? We got loads of them coming. There's just been a creative explosion going on behind the scenes here, so buckle up for a hell of a year. Hope you dig it.
Thank you for taking a trip with us through time. I hope you know how important you are in our journey. We love you so much. So excited to be here. We got four more sets. All of our side projects are playing music all weekend. Thanks so much for being here. And thanks for dressing up. I like how everyone looks. I feel pretty good. I think Gator's killing it. You know what, you guys? This mess old people, you're all mixed up, baby. Thank you! Happy Dope Fest! Let's have a 